polycystic ovarian syndrome or polycystic ovarian disease this is a condition where a lady has a hormonal imbalance and this hormonal imbalance can be due to variety of causes it could be due to her stress it could be to her lifestyle either she is overweight or she is eating lot of junk food uh, then that can be a reason or sedentary activities these are the common causes for pcos what happens in polycystic ovarian syndrome is apart from when you do a scan you will find multiple small follicles what we say multiple eggs containing small follicles in the ovaries this lady is usually overweight she can be also lean but then if she is lean then it is a genetic cause but if she is obese it's a lifestyle problem so the, uh, either the lady is obese she is having irregular cycles there is hair fall uh, there is increase in acne there is hair in the upper lips this is all signs of hyperandrogenism or the testosterone level elevated so what are the hormonal imbalances in polycystic ovarian syndrome the hormonal imbalances are that they have a, uh, increased in lh levels though the fsh might be normal the lh levels are increased and testosterone levels are also increased this can lead to this problem the solution for polycystic ovarian syndrome is very simple first is lifestyle changes you need to be active Uh, reduce weight even a 5% or 10% weight loss can cause dramatic changes and it can reverse pcos diet is very important these uh, pcos is a pre diabetic condition so you should follow a diet which is less in carbs more in protein and uh, drink lots of water and uh, sleep properly and time reduce your stress levels all this is going to make a huge impact Uh, sometimes if these ladies if we do a test and their sugars are high or their insulin levels are high then we can give them a, a diabetic medication that is called metformin these patients usually have difficulty in ovulation so sometimes we will have to give them ovulation induction drugs usually a letrozole or a clomiphenicetate for the initial uh, day 2 to uh, day 7 of her cycle so that we get a uh, ovulation we track the ovulation we uh, we see that when she is ovulating she has intercourse and maximize her chance of pregnancy if there is coexisting uh, some other condition in the male she might require an iui and very rarely she may require an ivf if the pcos is very se- uh, severe so in the present age what i would like to tell you all is there is treatment for pcos and pcos as infertility cause can easily be treated and everyone will have a child with pcos because it is treatable either ovulation induction iur or ivf so do consult your fertility specialist if you are suffering with pcos and infertility and earlier is always the better then to wait and uh, and just keep postponing thank you